I want to talk a little bit about what a lot of us are talking about lately, and that is the changes in the requirements to join the YouTube Partner Program. And that is what you have to do if you want to monetize your channel. Um, they've made a couple of changes recently, one that didn't really work out the way they hoped, so they made another one about a month ago, and that is where to join the YouTube Partner Program, your channel has to have 1,000 subscribers, and once reaching that 1,000 subscriber point, you have to have a total of 4,000 watch time hours over the previous 12 consecutive months. So, um, there are lots of channels out there who are currently in the YouTube Partner Program and are in danger of being booted out of it on, I think they have until February 20th, um, to get their channel up to those requirements or they're going to lose their partner status and you know they can re-get it once they meet the requirements they can reapply and, and get back in but it's kind of a bummer that they were already there they were a partner they were earning that four cents a year which encouraged them to keep going and you know improve and now it's being snatched away so it's not just losing that four cents a year. <laughs> it is losing that validation that you're doing something good and, and you're seeing some return. And, and it's that motivation to grow your channel. It's just being snatched away. So what can we do about it? Well, not a darn thing. It is what it is. This is the way it's going to be. So we have to adapt. Let's just address it from that standpoint and move on. Here's, here's what I want to talk about. Um, first thing is, how do you know how many watch time hours you have? <laughs> if you're a, a brand new channel or small channel and you know, you're, you're just starting out or you've not you know, looked into this before, it's, it's not really all that easy to find. You may find it a little challenging. So I want to show you how to find that information. Now, this, this might be a little confusing. This is going to be what most of our home screens look like. When you go to your channel, this is most likely what you're going to see. However, on occasion, the old version pops up. There's two versions floating around out there right now. This is my, my new version homepage, and this is the old version. A little bit different. So, that's okay. You can still get what you need on both versions. But, you know, just, just in case um, you have the old version pops up and I'm showing you everything on the new version, I just wanted to throw that out there and, and make you aware that, you know, if your homepage doesn't look like mine, that's okay. If you have the old version and you need to get to your analytics, that's where we're going, you're going to want to click right here on Video Manager. If you have the new version, to get to your analytics, you're going to click over here on Creator Studio. Either way, whether you click on Creator Studio or Video Manager, it's going to take you to the exact same place, which is the old version <laughs> of the Creator Studio. Down here on this left-hand side, you have this menu, you're going to click on Analytics. This is going to take you to your Analytics dashboard. And it's going to give you a little overview of what's happening. And what you want to click on is this first little thing that says watch time. Okay? Click right here on this watch time box. And you can make a couple of changes here to see your hours because the default is minutes. This shows you your watch time minutes and it shows you over the period that... I don't know if the last 28 days is the default. It's just the one that I always use. So you want to see your watch time hours over the last year. So you've got to make two changes. First, you want to change the um, time period that you're looking at. You do that by scrolling up here to the top of your watch time section. And right here on the right-hand side, where it says last 28 days, just click that little arrow and scroll down to, you want to look at the last 365 days. That's going to be the previous um, year-long consecutive span. So, 
click last 365 days, you can see that's going to show me from today's date back to February 8th of 2017, the last year. I'm still seeing minutes. So to see hours, I go right under this box. There's this thing that says compare metric. Click that. You're going to get a few options right here. Click on more metrics down at the bottom and it's going to open up this whole big thing and your watch time hours are just right there. Click watch time hours. Now what that's going to do is take you back to the graph and it's going to show you a comparison of hours and minutes. If you put your cursor over it you can see that your watch time minutes are in blue and your hours are in orange. Okay this is you know kind of fun to look at but confusing and not what you need. What you need is right here. This box gives you your total watch time hours for this time period. And that's where you'll see if you've reached that 4,000 mark. All right, here's something that you can do to help support smaller channels, because that's really my point here, is how we can help out these smaller channels. I have chosen 10 that I want to kind of help out right now. And what I did was I just went through my subscriptions and I saw, you know, who had a video up because I, I really want to support channels who are working their channel, you know, putting content out there. So who's uploaded a video recently? And then I checked their subscriber numbers. I have no way of looking at their watch time hours. So there may be some channels out there that have well over a thousand subscribers, but they don't have 4,000 watch time hours. That's not something I can see, so I can't really work with that. So what I did was just choose channels that have fewer than a thousand subscribers. Now some of them, you know, I watched a few of their videos, and you know some of them had ads pop up, so I know that they are in the partner program and are in danger of losing it here in a few weeks. Others, I did not see ads on their channel, so they may not be in the partner program. They may have no interest in monetizing, but I still think that they deserve a thousand subscribers. <laughs> okay, they're, they're putting out content, let's watch them. So one thing that you can do to help promote these channels, there's lots of things you can do. I've seen a bunch of people putting links out on social media, which is great. You know, there's, there's big long lists of links of channels that um, people are promoting, and I think that's a great way to do it. There are some uh, kind of fallbacks there depending on the platform where you share those links some platforms are not very friendly toward outside links Facebook for instance anytime you share a um, link to an outside source like a YouTube channel or a blog or whatever you know Facebook has their fussy little algorithm and that algorithm um, sees that outside link and it kind of kicks your post to the bottom of the barrel. It does not give it the exposure that it does a similar post that does not have an outside link. They want to keep you on Facebook. They don't want you going away from it, right? That makes sense, but still it kind of sucks because those, those posts don't get the exposure that they could. They're still going to get some exposure, so it's still a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But I really think that... Um, a really good way to get even more exposure is to do this on YouTube. You know, th this is the platform where the problem is. It's also where everybody is. So let, let's put it out there on YouTube. And I've already seen several of you already doing that. And, when, and I applaud you. That is awesome. I watched one this morning. Um, Kylie Koo put a big long list of folks out there. Lots of channels to, to go and support. Subscribe to if you haven't already give them some watch time and um, I hope to see a bunch more folks doing that too. Now the first thing I want to talk about, the first way that we can help to um, promote some of these smaller channels is by using the the side box on your home channel and depending on if you have the old version or new version of your landing spot here it's going to look a little different and honestly, I can't really remember how it looked before I customized it. 
Like, okay, here's here's what you do. You click Customize Channel on the new version, and then it is going to so helpfully take you to your old version. <laughs> okay? And on the old version, you click this little gear, and then it will say Customize the Layout of Your Channel. You can toggle this off or on. You want to make sure you toggle it on so that you can um, customize your layout. Okay, access more options and advanced settings. Y'all, honestly, I really can't remember what you start out with and what those options are. Say, so, there we go. It seems like, if I remember right, if you don't have your channel customized, you don't have um, this look, your channel is going to look a lot different than this. And I think if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see a box that says something like Add Sections. So after you click the option to customize your channel, you click that Add Sections, and then that will allow you to add these different playlists like I have here. And it might allow you to add these, or maybe they're already there. I think Related Channels might say something like Popular Channels. And then this one says something like Featured Channels. Honestly, I can't remember. I'm going to give you links to the GooTube, Goo you know, <laughs> Google YouTube um, support pages where they explain all this step by step. It's super easy, and and uh, they'll walk you through it. They'll, you know, pictures, links, everything, a lot better than I can. But the gist of it is. If you have this little customizable section right here, click edit, you can remove the module, you can edit the module. This is where you can change the name. Like I said, I think it starts out saying something like um, featured channels. I changed it to support these small channels. You just copy and paste the URL right here and add them. Then you can rearrange them if you want. But this is this is how you get them there, and that puts them on your home page, so that people who visit your channel, who land on your home page, can scroll through here and see who you are supporting. Okay. Um, now this is something you can do in addition to putting their links in a video, making a video for them, and adding their links there. But I, I just really like to do this for the channels that I'm supporting and really want to help grow. So there's an option for you. There's a really confusing option for you. <laughs> Just follow the links that I put down in the video description that can help you out with that. And I really do encourage you to customize your channel if you've not done that already, um, especially if you're wanting to monetize. If you don't customize your channel, you don't have you know a, a, these playlists and, and the stuff all over here and your, your trailer video, if you don't have any of that, then it kind of says, oh, I'm not really taking this seriously. You know, I'm just YouTubing for fun, which is fine. That's what you're doing. Go for it. But if you want to monetize your channel, you want to take it seriously, let's, let's do, it, do it right. Take the time to do it right. Take advantage of all of these options that YouTube gives you for customizing your channel, for putting out a trailer, you know, use the features that are available because that says that you're really serious about it. And it's going to make a difference in how viewers see your channel. Okay, so I have chosen 10 channels to feature this week. I'm going to try to do this once a week and just pick 10 different channels. And some of these, you know, may be interested in monetizing, some may not, but they all deserve more views and more subscribers, in my opinion. So, what can we as YouTube viewers do for these channels? You know, if you are not uploading videos, you, you really have no need for this thing over here. There are still things you can do as a YouTube viewer. Okay, <laughs> obviously subscribe to their channels. <laughs> Go to this person's channel when you watch their videos, hit the subscribe button. If you click on a video that you're watching, you'll see the red subscribe button. It's kind of everywhere. You can't miss it. Go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to these channels that you are watching. Now, what about that view time thing? How are you going to help them with those hours? Um, most of us 
don't have time to just sit and watch YouTube videos all day long. Some do, and you know, those of us who don't are extremely jealous of you. <laughs> so don't brag about it, please. <laughs> we don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, here's what you can do. I work from home, so it's a little easier for me, but you can do this in the evenings or weekends or just whenever you can. Here's my plan, though, because even though I do work from home, I just can't sit and watch videos all day. I have stuff to do. So what I'm going to do, I've got my channels that I'm supporting pulled up. Let's go through them. Here's Caroline, Dances with Pitbulls. I believe that's Rebecca. Look how close she is. It, just, it would take nothing to put her over that thousand mark. Alexis and Melinda. Here's Alicia. Lucia. Heidi. I have no clue why Heidi does not have more subscribers. To me, that is a travesty. Look at what she does. Uh, you don't even have to, to click on a video to see that you're interested in this. <laughs> I mean, I can just look at her thumbnails and tell I am interested in this. <laughs> Peddler's Medley. This is a new one for me that I'm enjoying. And here is Anne and Mary Ann and Maggie. So these are my 10 channels. And what I'm going to do is just queue up some videos let them run as background noise. You know, when I can, I'm going to sit and watch. But if nothing else, I can listen to them while I'm piddling around the house today, right? So I'm just going to go through, queue up videos, and let them run in the background. Give these folks some watch time. Okay, technically, I guess it would be listen time. <laughs> That's the best I can do right now. <laughs> Plus, you know, when they say something that catches my my interest, I'm going to stop, drop what I'm doing, and come sit down and watch. <laughs> but anyway, this is one way that we can help them out. Um, subscribe to their channel, and you know, sit down and watch their videos, or just put them on in the background and listen to them while you're doing other stuff when you can. So that is my goal. Like I said, I'm going to try to pick ten channels about once a week, <clears throat> so y'all come to my channel and look at my little sidebar here and you can see which other 10 that I've picked and those are the channels I'm gonna try to um, give some love to because I'm here to tell you what you put out there you get back right what goes around comes around and it certainly doesn't hurt to make a deposit to your karma bank <laughs> every now and then right <laughs> so yeah Let's all make a deposit in our karma bank and show some love to some smaller channels. If you are one of these smaller channels, that's fine. Shout out other smaller channels. <laughs> you may feel like, oh, I have no reach. You know, I have four subscribers. What good is that going to do me? Everyone had four subscribers at one time. Okay? Everyone. And you just keep doing what you're doing and it'll grow. Sometimes it grows really, really fast. Sometimes it's excruciatingly slow. Either way, it's still going to grow. So that is what I'm doing. Everybody, just keep doing what you're doing, and please try not to get discouraged. YouTube has our best interest at heart. I fully, fully believe that. They really do. They're not trying to make it hard or, you know, make anybody upset. Um... I know for me, here's one way that this is going to help. That I'm hoping it helps and that I think YouTube is hoping it's going to help. I have had several of my videos pirated. Someone has downloaded them from my channel and uploaded them to their own channel, kind of passing them off as their own. And I have found my videos on these channels with videos from other people. And anytime I find a pirated video, I go to that person and say, hey, <laughs> you might want to check this out. And YouTube's really good about, you know, when you report it, they usually have it taken care of just, you know, within a day or two. It doesn't take them long, but still, that's something that they don't want to have to do. So that is one way that this new policy of, Having the watch time hours and the thousand subscribers can help because these these channels who do this pirating thing, you know, normally they pop up out of nowhere, they grab a bunch of videos, put it on their own channel, 
instantly monetize and they're stealing from you. And this new policy they have is, is going to help that. It will. Is it going to eliminate it? No, maybe not completely, but it will help to, to cut down on that. And I, for one, certainly appreciate it because I know lots of you have been in the same situation. You have seen your videos on channels that are not yours, and it just kind of chips away a little bit at your soul. <laughs> it just feels horrible when that happens. <laughs> so this new 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers is one way that YouTube can help with that. They are looking out for us. Um, it may not seem like it, but they really are. So let's just go with it. There's this new rule. It's a weird rule. It's having a negative effect on some of us, but we can overcome. And you know, maybe this is going to be a good thing for everyone. You know, to eliminate some of that piracy and to encourage us all to to um, put more effort in our channels if monetization is something that we want. Um, you know, if it, if it doesn't interest you, that's perfectly fine. It's not for everybody. But I'm I'm just really passionate about supporting small channels because everybody was a small channel at one point or another, and um, those of us that have have grown way beyond our expectations owe it to other people. You know, we owe it to the YouTube community. Because, um, you know, you can't grow your channel all by yourself. It takes a community. So this is just kind of my way of giving back a little bit and saying thank you for your continued support, not only of my channel, but of every other channel out there. And I um, hope that you will take a look at the channels I've listed this week. Go give them some love. Watch them or listen to them when you can subscribe to them and um, let's just build our community even stronger than it already is it's awesome as it is but um, you know there are always improvements that can be made so that's all I got for you today the end <laughs>